If you're like I am, you want to accomplish a task with the most concise, straightforward manner possible. Well, that principle is very applicable to Bible searching in Logos. So in this tutorial, I want to show you some shortcuts to Bible searching right out of your Bible. So let's first of all set up our screen. I want you to go ahead and close the home page if it's open. And I want you to drag your Bible icon to the left hand side of the screen. And when the Bible opens, let's take it to Acts 18, verse 1. So click in the reference box, Acts 18, verse number 1, press the enter key, and we're there. This is where Paul meets Aquila and Priscilla. Now, in the previous tutorial, I showed you how to use the search panel to execute your Bible searches. In this tutorial, we're going to focus on the right-click menu, as it's officially called, the context menu. And it's going to save you a lot of time. Now, we're focusing on Bible searching, but you can execute all of your searches this way, whether it's a Bible search or you're searching in a particular book, like a commentary or a dictionary. The same principles apply. Okay, so let's come over here to verse number one. And you'll see in the LEB it says, After these things he departed from Athens and went to Corinth. Now follow me carefully. I want you to right click on the word Corinth. Right click on the word Corinth. We are now presented with what's called the context or the right click menu. Notice there are two sides to this menu, left and right. We have to make a selection on the left hand side and then the right hand side will adjust based on what we've clicked on. Now I'm going to set you up for something. I want you to notice at the top it says Selection Corinth. I want you to click on that. Selection Corinth. Now look at the right hand side and find the search section. And you'll see search and then it says inline Bible this book. We want Bible. So on the right hand side click Bible. And we just searched our Bible for the English word Corinth. That is a selection search. Now, when we're searching for Corinth, that's really not what we want because let's say Corinth is referenced by a different word. Maybe it's referred to as city or there or town or here. Okay, so right click on Corinth again. Right click on Corinth. Look on the left hand side, maybe about halfway down, and you'll see Corinth place. All right, let this sink in. When you are searching for a person, place, or thing in the Bible, you don't want to click on selection at the top. You want to come down and find person, place, or thing. So we've got Corinth, place. Now on the right hand side in the search section, click Bible and notice what we've got. We still have the words Corinth, but notice it's also referred to as city in Acts 18.10 and Romans 16.23. We picked those up. So remember, if you're searching for a person, place, or thing, don't click on the English word at the top. Come on down on the menu and find that person, place, or thing. Okay, now, a little housekeeping here. Power user trick. Did you notice when we did that second search, we got a second search panel? Every time we do a right mouse search, we're going to get a separate search panel opening. I don't know about you, I'm confused with two, let alone five or six. So follow me carefully. I want you to click the X on that second search tab. Click the X on the second search tab. Leave the first search open. Now on the first search, click on its panel menu, the three dots in the upper right, and then notice toward the top, send searches here. Click on that. You'll notice a target has been applied to the tab. Now when we do right mouse searches, all of the results will go into this one search panel. We're not going to keep opening different things. Okay, so let's come back to our text and notice in verse number two, Aquila. So let's do what I just said. Right click on Aquila. On the left hand side of the menu, find Aquila the person, the person, and then search the Bible. Here is every time Aquila is mentioned regardless of the words used to reference him. Okay, let's come back over to the Bible. Notice in verse number four we have synagogue. Right click on synagogue. We do not want selection at the top. 
come on down, synagogue thing, thing. And then the Bible search on the right, here's every time the thing synagogue is mentioned, regardless of the words used to describe the synagogue. Pretty cool. All right, let's get back to the Bible here. And notice in verse number five, we have the phrase, the Christ. Okay, follow me carefully. I want you to select that phrase. So select the phrase, the Christ. Now notice on my screen, a little menu pops up. This is called the text selection menu. I don't want to go down the road in this tutorial about this menu. All I want you to see is to the right of that menu is a little icon with three dots. Click on it. Now we have the right click or the context menu. Notice at the top, selection the Christ. That's the one we want this time because we're looking for that specific phrase, the Christ. So the Christ, and then over on the right in the search section, Bible, and notice what we just located. Every time that phrase, the Christ, appears in our Bible. So we have an exhaustive phrase concordance with the right click menu. Notice in the searches find box, we have the phrase with the double quotes. In the previous tutorial, we typed that. What I'm showing you is right from the Bible, you can select the text, then right click and execute your search without having to type the phrase. Now, one more search in this tutorial. I want you to come over here and notice in verse number five, it says, Paul began to be occupied with the message, solemnly testifying. I want you to right click on testifying, right click on testifying. We do not want the English word testifying. I want you to come down on the left hand side and find the lemma, the Greek lemma. You say, Mo, I can't read Greek. Find the line with the ring icon. That ring icon is the translation ring that we have seen in the guide Bible word study. So we are wanting to search not for the English word, but for the underlying Greek lemma. Let that sink in. We are searching for the underlying Greek lemma, even though we may not know Greek. So select the lemma, the one with the ring icon, and then in the search section, Bible. And here is every time this particular Greek lemma appears in scripture, regardless of its English translation. So let all of that sink in. Rewatch the video. We've searched for people, places, and things. We've searched for English words. We've searched for phrases. We're even searching for underlying Hebrew and Greek lemmas, all with the right click menu. You're going to enjoy that shortcut to Bible searching.